Hello, Debbie Gruber here from Easy Piano Styles. The lesson this week is on a couple of different accompaniments that you can do with the right hand. And the first one I'm going to show you is you take the second inversion of a chord. So say we have a D chord. We're going to invert it two times. So that would mean that the fifth is on the bottom, the A. The D chord is D, F sharp, A. We're going to bring the A down here. So the first inversion would be F sharp, A, D. Second inversion would be A, D, F sharp. We're going to do it down here. And that's what I do a lot for accompaniment, because I'm accompanying myself singing a lot. It would be... And then we bring the pinky up a half a step to the G, and then back down. So it's there's the full chord. And then we do D, E, so it's, and then we go up, full chord, D, A, that's the key thing here, we want that, that suspension put in there, and then back down. So C second inversion would be this. So it would be full chord, bottom two, and then we go up. You can, you can actually add the note underneath it here. Let's do the basic one that's up. G and G it would be it's, it's, it's something you could use for any kind of a ballad um, okay let me just check the camera if we're not sliding around here it looks pretty good um, let's do another type that's the first type the second type would be say we have an, a D chord 4-4 four, 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 four measure we would go one and starting at the top going down. One and uh, two and uh, three. One and two and three and four and. Or you can count it da 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 ba 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 or one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. And, and, and you could do that in any inversion. So say you had a D chord and you were like that, and you did it in the second inversion, it would just be top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. The last one, you only have time to do two of them. Let's do it in C. Left hand's just playing the root of the chord. And if you put in the song, In My Life by the Beatles, there are places I read. Right, and it takes up the full measure. So, like in the next measure, there's two chords, so you couldn't do it. Remember all my life. Here we can use it again because it's the full measure. Some have changed, some forever, not for better. I can't use it there. Here we can use it here. minor chord, so I'm just going to keep it in reposition. Places and their moments. C7. Lovers and friends I still can recall. Right, so you can do it in any inversion you want, really. I just chose the second inversion, but you can do it in root position. So those are our two accompaniments. The left hand's just doing the root of the chord, holding it, um, or doubling it. So that was the first one that I had taught you was there are places I remember. Can't do it there. All my life. Here we can do it. Some have changed, some are better, not forever. Can't do it there.
tension there and then it releases. I really like that one. So those are two things that you can do with your right hand when you're playing a ballad. You don't want to do this for an up-tempo song, but a ballad works really great. Okay, talk to you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.